right, time to uh, continue my, uh, let's say, um, gun customization, putting stuff into the vault. Let's go with the uh, these categories now. Gotta fill out my vault here. So SMGs, oh man, there are just a ton of SMGs to uh, to pick from. I don't know uh, <laughs> which one I want. You could go with the MP5, classic MP5, and also, you know, I'm a fan of the HK Slap, so. But let's see, uh, let's see, the Agram, the, uh, oh, how do you pronounce this? The Wyskowica? I forgot how to pronounce that. It's, Pol it's Polish, but uh, <laughs> sorry for all the uh, Polish people out there butcher your language. The M11 is nine millimeter uh, not really quite my thing evo 3 is pretty cool but let's just see what else we can uh customize here the k50 the vietnamese uh copy of the uh, ppsh right or not copy modif modification the kp31 uh, ooh, Tommy gun. Yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> the grease gun. Oh, man. Oh, classic Mac 11. Always oh, great. And it's got that uh, little, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, little uh, jiggly thingamabob, little strap. But this is always a classic. I just need to fire this. Way too uncontrollable for me, but it's always fun. Especially when you dual wield those. <laughs> the Model 38, MP18, MP34, Classic MP40. A little, I need a little uh, something a little more modern. Okay, the MP9. Mm. M4. Let's see. UMP45. That is uh, what I was gravitating to earlier, but hmm, maybe not. Let's see. Ultimately, I would want an MP5 because I really do love the MP5. It's, you know, it's one of the classic submachine guns out there. I mean, there are, there are a lot of them, but to me, you know, that's like, you know, it's HK. And uh, I, I really like the uh, 10 millimeter auto version of the MP5. So, uh, yeah. I might get the one with the uh, retractable stock. It's pretty cool. And, uh, hmm. Let's just start off with that. Let's grab one of these babies. Always lock the bolt back. Let's grab a magazine that on do an HK slap let's uh, extend the stock and let's go full auto on this thing oh love it oh I forgot that this um, this model of the uh, MP5 locks the bolt back once you've uh, emptied a magazine, which doesn't happen with the uh, with some of the other MP5s. If you just look at like let's say the um, A1, and we'll grab a magazine here. Let's open up that bolt. SEF. See, the bolt is, uh, is closed. Which is, uh, kind of weird. But, one of the many reasons why I like this. Although, I mean, you can't really do anything about it. I mean, there's no, like, bolt release or anything like that. Is there? No. 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 <laughs> so, yeah.
I mean, it's either, I mean, for me, if I was to choose a submachine gun, it's either this or the, um, the UMP. Oh, man. I can't decide, but I do like the UMP. HK slap there as well. Oh, did I uh, not spawn lock a magazine? This one has a um, bolt release right there, that little paddle. Which, I mean, you know, a lot of people find cool, but since I'm left-handed, it's kind of hard to use that. You have to turn the gun, and after you fire it, reload, I didn't spawn any, so I'll just pretend I had one, put it the magazine in, do that. But, uh, yeah, I really do like the uh, UMP. Hold on just a second, got to scratch my face here. Kind of hard with the uh, HMD on my, on my head. Um, but yeah. Oh man. 10 millimeter or 45. That's a tough decision. That is tough. Oh man. Which one am I going to pick? Oh man. This is a tough decision. I swear. Or I could just go with a PPSH, <laughs> the modern. No, that's okay. Oh. Well, with the MP5, you have like a lot of customization options as well. You can do a lot of uh, replace the foregrip, add a little uh, adapter on top, which is might be. Is it backwards? I think I put it backwards. Yeah, I put it backwards. This is the right way. Let me just grab this flashlight here. You can put it over. It looks kind of weird, but don't worry about it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> I do like the retractable stock, though. I'm not a fan of folding, folding stocks like this. Because it looks kind of weird to me. Just not a fan. But I do like the, uh, no, retractable. Pull it out like that. Oh, man. Should I go with the MP5? Ultimately, I think I will go with the MP5. I'm, you know, I, I like the, uh, the UMP. But, uh, yeah, I just like the uh, MP5 a lot more. <laughs> so let's customize this baby. For the attachments, muzzle device, what can I put on this thing for a suppressor? Uh, let me see. Hmm. What can I use? Hitman suppressor? Yeah, let's do the Hitman suppressor. And then I need a foregrip. Let's see. What can I use for the foregrip? <clears throat> mm hmm. Hold on just a second. You see nine. Nah, not quite my style. Although I do like that uh, reflex sight. I'm going to go with a uh, short. Let's see how that looks. Hmm. Quite. Let's try the long. Ooh. 
I think this is a little heavier. <laughs> Now, I wonder what I'm going to do for the uh, ore grip. Oh, I wish I could use this, but I can't, since this is only for the MP5K. <laughs> uh, what am I going to do? Oh, uh, well, you know what? I'll think about that while I add a laser, obviously. That and a light. Let's do the clash light. This baby on there. Hmm. No, let's just move this forward a bit. And then let's stick a foregrip on here. What do I want? Do I want. Uh, Angle for grip. No, that's going to be kind of weird. Let's move it a bit forward here. Get rid of that angled foregrip. Let's see, what can I put on this thing? <laughs> the Thompson. No, let's not go with the Thompson. Let's, uh. Large. For how this will look. Ooh. That looks kind of, uh. Not my style. Mini? Stand. A little bipod that doesn't, uh. Doesn't quite work. <laughs> hmm. I'm not sold on it, but uh, I might need time to grow on me. Maybe if I go... Uh, Hmm, that looks ugly. Yeah, no, I'm not going to go with that. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't really need the extra rail. It's kind of useless to me. Alright, well, maybe I might stick with the uh, angled... Looking at it in good light, you know? Huh. And maybe, let's go to decorative here. Let's cover up these side rails. Oh, this is going to be really hard. Oh, nope, that's not even, that's not even level. Let me just, uh. Come on. Oh, don't do that to me. I think that's, uh... Oh, no. That's clipping. Let's just go this way. Oh, this... This is terrible. I'm really terrible at putting stuff on rails. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we gotta... Now we gotta fix the other side. <laughs> oh no! Drop my weapon. Come on, I can do this. There we go. All right. All right. 
This probably has a round inside. Yes, it does. Okay. I think that looks okay. I know the magazine's a different color, but hey. Oh. I'll, I'll keep that. It's pretty good. Nope. Oh, just want to scan that. There we go. Where is it? Hold on. Looking for it. There it is. Okay. Now, PDWs. There's not much that I really want, but there is a favorite. I do have a favorite out of these, and that's the MP7. I used to like the P90, but, you know, uh, when I was, like, younger. But then I got older. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the MP7. It's either, for me personally, it's either the MP7 or the Honey Badger. But uh, I really do have a soft spot for the MP7. Which, uh, you know. <laughs> I just like this, uh, this gun. And, uh, yeah. I mean, this is pretty much it. I might do a, uh, an attachment here. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. MP9 suppressor seems pretty good. But... I could also go with the operator. Hmm. No, maybe not. Let's not go with the operator suppressor. Let's go with something a little bit more uh, appropriate. Let's see. No, let's see. Hold on. Aim five. Hmm. Probably not. <laughs> Suppressors the video. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh. This one. Hmm. Oh. Well, let me see if this one looks good. Again, it might not look good to anybody else, so... <laughs> Don't worry about that, you know? Usually my weapon choices are a bit, uh, pretty bad. <laughs> hmm. I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Although, no. Hmm. The MP9 suppressor is pretty cool as well. Oh, no, don't, don't go that way. Come back here. There we go. Hmm. Just want to try one more thing before I choose. It's got a tiny suppressor. I kind of like it. It's a little ugly, but, you know. <laughs> a lot of people would say that. Hmm. MP9 is a pretty good suppressor. I don't like this one. It's a, it's a bit chunky, yeah. But, uh, you know. <laughs> uh, what else can I put on this thing? Uh, let's see. Laser light. <laughs> Tactical laser 2. Always great. 
Uh, where do I want to put this? Can I put this here? Does it still work? Yes, it does. Although that iron sight needs to go down. There we go. That looks pretty cool. I might not use the game point. I don't realize that it looks kind of weird. <clears throat> but let's see what I can use here. I really do like the uh, SRS2 for this. Oh, not a recoil there. Need to use both hands on this baby. Let's just move this a little bit back. And if I want to, I can use iron sights as well. That's pretty cool. I like that. So if I want to, I mean, theoretically, if there was like an EMP or something and it knocked out this, uh, this uh, red dot sight, you can still use the iron sights on this. So I mean, you don't have to in the game. There's nothing like that in this game, but that's pretty cool. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to go with this. There we go. I forgot how you lock the uh, bolt open. Uh, if you want to lock the bolt open, you pull the, um, the charging handle back and then you hold right on the thumb pad and it locks the bolt open. Press up to release the bolt because there's a uh, bolt release there. <clears throat> On, it's ambidextrous as well. Bolt release on either side. But if you want to lock it back, you hold the uh, thumb pad. So it can be all cool operator, you know? Should I put a flashlight on this thing? Uh, probably not. This will be good enough for me. Actually, I just want to try one thing. I don't know if this is going to work. Yeah, that's, that's what I was afraid of. <laughs> that's why you need to put the... Uh, Laser sight in the front there. But I was going to put this thing on top. And then... Yeah, no, let's not do that. Let's just stick this back onto the... <clears throat> weapon like that. Sight's down. Alright. I think that will be that for that PDW. Go to the vault and save things. Let me just get rid of all the stuff. I know the suppressor looks... Uh, I mean, might not be the choice of everybody, but I kind of like the suppressor, so... I'm just going to use that. Okay. Let's get rid of this. And, uh, let's get rid of those. Oh, let me get rid of this, too. There we go. Two points. Lever actions. Oh, man. Okay, well, I mean, there's only one real choice for me if I really want to customize things, unless, you know, I just want to have, like, an old lever action. That's the Rio Big Bore. Because it's got rails. You can put rails on, uh, you can put stuff on it because of the rails. It's not a bad-looking gun. But, uh, that'd be really funny. Uh, well, not funny. It'd be really cool if, uh, if Anton came out with a uh, with a, a version of these lever actions, but more modernized, you know. But this is as close as we can get, and uh, you know, I, I still like it. It's it, it's good. It's good. Oh, let me just uh, spawn lock uh, some rounds here. There we go. And uh, let's customize some stuff here. What do I want to put on this thing? Should I put a scope? I think I should put a magnified scope on this. Since this is a, uh, a rifle, essentially. It's got a stock and a, a foregrip. So I could probably steady it 
really easily. I could use a scope on this thing, make it something long range. So, uh, yeah. Alright. Oh, no, that's that's okay. We're not going to use that. Maybe the uh, WA-2000? I mean, I'm not really going to use a WA-2000 because you can't really customize it that much. Maybe use a scope or something, but all right. All right. Now, it'd be funny if I put a laser on this thing. <laughs> Just like I always do. When in doubt, put lasers on everything. So we're just going to stick a laser on there. Oh yeah, that'll work. That that works. That works. I like that. Stick a laser on there. I'm not gonna put a light on that. That's just too absurd. You know, you you, you take a sure glow or something and stick it on the top rail for the light, which uh, kind of works, I guess. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. Let's just get rid of that. If I can, can I? There we go. But I will put a laser on there, just for kicks. And uh, what else can I put? Can I do a suppressor? We're just going to go with a short, short A here. A short suppressor. I don't know if that's going to look good. Probably not, but I'm just trying things out. Let's see if it works. Come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> My controller was in the way there with that lever. Is uh, all the way forward. My controller was in the way, so it was hard trying to reload this thing. Okay. Oh, I think that's. I might not go with a maximum suppressor. Let me just uh, remove this thing. Let's go with something a little more different. Should I go with the uh, Cobra? Hmm. That looks okay. Not too picky with the suppressor this time. Although, I could... Oh, uh, well. You know what? Let's go with a corded one. This this is a pretty tricked out... Uh, <clears throat> rifle. Let's go with a corded suppressor. Oh, well, nah, that's, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I was thinking of something else. Don't worry about it. But, uh, yeah, that should be uh, pretty good. And uh, I'm going to save that. There we go. Lever action is done. Now, let me check the time here. Because I know this video will probably get too long. 29 minutes. All right. I'll do one more. Let's go with the carbine here, and uh, oh, a lot of a lot of choices. Oh, before I do anything, just drop that. All right. Oh, my back is really hurting. Standing up this long is it's pretty tiring. Oh, uh, that's one thing about VR. You get a lot of exercise. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh man. Lots of choices here. Lots and lots of choices. What am I going to pick? Oh. Really hurts my back. <laughs> I could go with a standard left hook because I am a lefty and I have a soft spot for this. Uh, should I go with a left hook? Oh, man. 
could go with a Bubba, the Bubba 15, but it's, uh, it's, uh, you know, civilian, so it's semi-automatic only. Oh. Oh, okay. No, 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 I already have a MP5 style weapon. So I might just go with the left hook. Because, I know, I still, I love it. You know, when Anton put this one in, I was like, yes, a lefty weapon. <laughs> just for us left-handed people. All right, I'm going to go with a 60-round mag because... Oh, well, I thought it could fit. No, 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 let's not go with a 60-round mag. Let's just go with the standard... Actually, you know what? We can change magazines here. Let me... Uh, uh, the Stanag Mag 3. There are so many different magazines for, uh, for the uh, AR-type pattern rifles. That it is pretty it's pretty cool okay nope that's not uh, what I wanted nope that's not what I wanted either <laughs> hold on just a second 36 magazine it might be in the might be in the uh, assault rifle let me just uh, check something here it's the Stanag magazine number one. And then we've got the uh, magazine number two. Let me just spawn this out. Got that one. Ten rounder. We got a five rounder. Twenty rounder. So many magazine options. Oh, that's, yeah, that's not going to fit. <laughs> oh, no, no, go to the sky. Car, drum mag, and out. Okay, go back to the carbines here. Magazine three. It's got that little uh, little attachment at the bottom there. Um, which one should I go for? I I really like the old style classic. Uh. Classic magazines. But I, I, you know, I also like this one too. But I, I might go with the classic, just because it looks. You know, I mean, it's pretty cool. <laughs> At least I think so. Let's put this on uh, full auto. Let's fire off a couple of rounds here. Now for this one, I probably going to go with the grenade launcher, the the attachments, the accessories. <clears throat> All right. I really do like the uh, EOTech style sights, so I'm going to go with that. Let's put that down. I don't know. I just have a personal preference for that. It's just, it's weird. Don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, oh, actually, you know what? I might not do this one with the EOTech because I'm going to do that with the uh, the actual assault rifle. For this one, I'm going to go with the QC9 suppressor. And, uh, oh, no, I don't think I can. I was just thinking about the um, bayonet, so just see if I can use this. Yep, yeah, and then I also got a suppressor on there, which does not fit at all. Get off. Hmm, I don't know about that bayonet. I right, grab it. There we go. Because I'm also going to use a grenade launcher. It's an under barrel. Was it this one? No. I don't think it was this one, right? Nope. Let's throw that away. Come on. Get out of here. Let's go with the uh, Picatinny. Standard. Oh, come on. Maybe a little forward. Hold on. Oop. Uh, 
Ah, oh, come on. No, oh, that's a little too forward. Ah, oh, man, I really, I really wish uh, Anton would put in an option to, to do like incremental snaps on the rails. Be real nice if we could do that. Let's just that there. Okay, uh, what else can I put on this thing? Still looking for a scope. Whoa. Did I just uh, spawn a magazine? I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> <clears throat> I could go with a name point. Hey, you know what? Yeah, let's just go with the... Uh... Oh, did I throw it away? The hollow sight? We'll go with a short one this time. Let me just uh, stick this here. That's fine. That's okay. Let me use that. Okay. Uh, what about lasers and lights? Let's see. Hmm. Might put it on the side. Well, actually... I completely forgot that there is a... Uh, double-sided axis tilt rail. We can make our own uh, little uh, mount there. <laughs> and let me see. Let me get a light here. Should I get the clash light? No. Sure glow. Let's do a sure glow this time. No, that's not correct. Let's move that back a little bit. No, come on. There we go. Okay. All right. That's good enough for me. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to do a foregrip. But I will do... Let's see some rail covers. Can I? These are a little too short. Nope, they're just right. Pretty good. Okay. Some rail covers there. And it looks lined up. And then a long rail cover at the top here. Oh, come on, get on there. Hmm, maybe not long. Let's throw that away. Let's try medium. Okay. That'll work. There we go. All right. It's good enough for me. Although I do want a bayonet on this thing. <laughs> but again, it interferes with the grenade launcher, so... <laughs> That's uh, going to have to go away. Alright, let me just uh, test this weapon out. <laughs> Do a little operator reload there. And then... Grenade launcher. Far away. I missed. But that's okay. You get the idea. Okay. Well, let's put that into the uh, vault. My back is killing me. I'm sorry if I'm sounding a little down, but... All the standing up is making me tired. All right, there we go. Left hook. Now, I think that's about enough time 
for today because this video is getting a little long, but next time, hopefully, oh, got to sit down. I can do some more weapons because it's always fun customizing stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, see you guys later.